Okay, kung okay na po, makita na yung inyong paper. Bakit ano po? Bakit like sign yung ating chat box? Okay, para makita ko kung okay na yung notes nyo. Para makapag-flash na ako sa screen. Ako naman, hindi naman natin paabutin to ng 9pm. Don't you worry. No? Kasi ang bukas naman to, buti na lang binigyan ako ng, ano, ng um, sapat na schedule para masagutan natin. I think 500 questions yata yan. So hanggang bukas, stick to 250 questions tayo or 200 today, tas 300 bukas. Depende sa tagal natin para masagutan natin lahat ng nandyan. So magsulat lang kayo, makinig kayo sa akin para makuha nyo yung mga keywords for the um, upcoming board exam. Okay? <clears throat> Hindi naman ako bago sa inyo, parang paulit-ulit na tayong nagkikita-kita. So alam nyo na yung sistema natin dito. Okay, nakikita na yung aking screen. Medyo mabagal yung net ko, mag-off cam na lang ako ha. Yan, para hindi nagahang. <clears throat> Okay, let us start. Pero dahil malapit na yung board, bago tayo mag-start, mag-pray muna tayo para kahit pa paano talagang ma-absorb natin itong lecture natin ngayon. Okay? So, let us pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for this day po, for all the opportunities that you are giving us. Nawa po, year na preparation nila for the upcoming board exam. Pagpasa nila, Lord, huwag niyo po sinampabayan at makakuha ng work na pinapangarap nila para magamit po talaga nila yung kanilang um, yung kanilang trabaho, yung kanilang um, lisensya, Lord God. Lahat po ay inaalay namin sa inyo, nagtitiwala kami sa inyo, na bibigyan niyo sila ng sapat na knowledge and opportunity para po sa kanilang buhay at pamilya. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay? So, nawa. Ready, ready na tayo. Amen, everyone. Good morning. No? So, hindi ako masyadong magsisigaw. Nawa, mapigilan ko talaga magsisigaw dito kasi talaga sumisigaw ako dahil kakagaling ko lang sa sakit. Pero, yun nga. Makinig lang po tayo. Wala masyadong makulit. Kung may mga questions, nandito lang sa chat box, pwede kayo magtanong para lilinawin natin yung mga queries nyo. Okay? Question? <clears throat> Question number one. A for set one. Okay. In terms of organizational structure, what is the similarity of organized crimes from military or police? Okay, again. In terms of organizational structure, what is the similarity of organized crime from military or police? So, kung makikita natin dito, ang pag-uusapan natin, guys, is the organizational structure. Okay? Lagyan natin ng ano, keywords. No? Mga dapat yung i-highlights. Okay? So, organizational structure, ang kaparehas niya daw ay yung military or the police. A, autocratic. B. Democratic, C. Bureaucratic, and D. Patrimonial. What is the answer? A, B, or C, or D? So nakikita ko dito may A, may B, may letter C. O basic question to, madlang people, no? Kadalasan ang military or police, kadalasan po ay sila ay bureaucratic. Ha? Ang organizational structure ng PNP ay bureaucratic. So, therefore, ganun din po kung similarity ang pinag-uusapan natin, yung mga organized crime groups natin ay bureaucratic din. So, meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng leadership styles kasi. So, meron tayong autocratic, meron tayong laissez-faire, 
meron tayong democratic or participative, at meron din tayong bureaucratic. So, si PNP, kadalasan po, siya ay bureaucratic in ways that it has a organizational rules and policies with um, with strict rules and procedures. No? Makikita natin dito, lagi silang bibigay ng mga promotions, organizational um, availabilities, di ba? Sa autocratic kasi, ang style po niyan, ang complete command niya ay nandun sa pinaka-leader. Leader has complete command. Ito yung keyword, pare. O, oh, yan. Leader has complete command. Walang magagawa lahat ng mga members kundi sumunod lang. Kung ano yung rule ni leader, yun na po yung gagawin ng followers. So, hindi ganun ang PNP, di ba? So, next, lazy fair. Ito naman po, ang style naman nito, leader totally trust the employees to perform the job themselves. Yan na? So, yung full responsibility nandun sa mga members ng organization. So, hindi yan. Hindi yan yung magiging sagot natin. And democratic, leaders invite and encourage the team members to play important role in decision-making process. Okay? So, hindi rin po yan yung answer. Ang answer natin is letter letter C. Again, ha, number one is letter C. Okay? Question number two. Okay. Over speeding can cause traffic accidents and we attribute the same to. Over speeding can cause traffic accidents and we can attribute the same to A, unworthy vehicle, B, human error, C, traffic error, and D, road deficiency. So, ano bang ang over speeding, nagko-cause talaga yan ng traffic accident, right? So, pag may nag-over speeding, ano ang issue natin dyan? Is it the vehicle? Is it human error? Is it traffic error? And the road deficiency? What is the answer? So, makikita natin to, halos lahat naman ay tama. The, the answer is letter B. Very good, no? Human error. Okay, over speeding, kasalanan po yan ng driver. Therefore, human error. Unworthy vehicle, ano yan? May unworthy vehicle ba? Kailangan ba BMW ang kotse ko para hindi, <laughs> hindi mag-cause ng accident? So, hindi siya, uh, papagulo lang yan sa questionnaire, di ba? C, traffic error. And D, road deficiency. Wala naman kinalaman sa road deficiency yung overspeeding, so hindi rin yan. So the answer is letter B. <clears throat> okay? Number two, letter B. Number three. What kind of search method where the crime scene is subdivided into areas? Oh, with the keyword, the Crime scene is subdivided into areas, a building into rooms or floors, and then each of the fire officer or officers are then assigned accordingly. Hindi lang fire officers ang pwede dito, ha? Okay? So, ito, example ng arson investigation. So, pwede siya. Pwede rin yan sa crime scene, no? Depende. Okay. So, ano yan? Letter A, concentric search. <coughs> B, sector search. C, strip search. And D, double strip. What is the answer? Letter, and I kita ko sa screen, halos lahat naman tama. Letter, letter B. No, Sex, sector search. Kasi si strip search, ang magiging keyword nyo dyan, ang best keyword natin dyan, yan yung simplest type. Wait lang. Tulad natin, no? Pag strip, yan yung simplest type. Ay, yan lang yung matandaan nyo, no? Pinakasimple yung strip, no? Then, double strip, kadalasan po, that is also known as grid method. No? Pinagsamang dalawang strip search, grid method. So, the answer is letter B. Okay. Question number, question number four. Hindi ah, naman ako mabilis, right? O, uh, paki... Thumbs up naman kung hindi naman tayo nabibilisan, kung sakto lang. Okay. So I think okay naman, no? 
Number four. What is this photographing of arrested suspects? Number three is letter B. Pare, letter B. Uh, number four, what is the photographing of arrested suspects, both full face and side profile? A, line up. B, portrait barley. C, selfie. And D, mugshot. What is the answer? Mm-hmm. Marami nagsasagot. Okay. The answer is letter C, selfie. Joke lang. Hindi po selfie. Kala ko <laughs> wala, wala nagre-react. Okay? The answer is mugshot. Okay? Mugshot po. Mugshot. Kinabahan ng lahat eh. Oh. <laughs> Sampo lang kung nagiki, nakikinig ba talaga kayo. Natulala ako. <laughs> okay. The answer is Magshot pare. Siyempre magshot, no. Hindi sa kinabahan na ko, ma'am. Uh, nagising ako. Okay. Pampa pampaano lang. Tingnan natin kung buhay pa yung brain cells nyo. Okay? Siyempre hindi po selfie dahil pagpagulo lang rin 'yan. Portrait parley ang ibig sabihin niyan, speaking likeness. So, so dati yung may ginagamit pa nila yung anthropometry, ginagamit nila yan together di pot portrait parley yung habang kinukuha yung sizes ng bones ng isang arrested person, kasama din yung portrait party. So, line up naman, ginagamit yan if the suspects are 7 to 10 person. Okay? 7 to 10 person, kadalasan ang ginagamit nila is police line up para mabawasan yung mga suspect. No? Mabawasan. So the answer here, pag pin pinotograph ang arrested suspect, full face and side profile, number four, letter B. No, Delta. Get. Okay. Police show up, iba po. Okay. Pag police show up, example, no, nahuli na yung isang um, suspect. No, inannounce na uh, kilala niyo na kung sino yung suspect tapos dinala sa custody under custody custodial investigation para makita ng biktima police show up. So isa lang yung hinahanap mong tao. Kilala niyo na kung sino yung suspect pag police show up. Pag police line up, marami kayong suspected person, meron kayong kunari pito or sampo na pinagsususpetsang tao tapos yung biktima nasa labas, pipiliin niya doon sa Mga suspect kung sino yung nakita sa crime scene. So the answer is line up. Pag show up, isa lang. Okay? So yan. Yan ang keyword. Okay, five. Which of the following is not a common element of robbery and theft? Ano ang kadalasan pag magsagot kayo ng ganitong klaseng question, yung may mga hiwagang not, Bilugan nyo yan para hindi nyo nakakalimutan, ha? So, which of the following is not a common element of robbery and theft? A. The personal property is taken with intent to gain. B. The offense can be committed by a bank. C. The personal property belongs to another. And D. The unlawful taking of that property. Okay, what is the answer? Uh, sino, ano daw yung hindi common element, hindi parehas na element ng theft at robbery? The answer is letter, okay, correct people, letter B. The offense can be committed by a band. Okay, pag by a band na, pasok na yan sa robbery. Eh, ang pinag-uusapan, common. No? Ano yung magkatulad sila? Si letter A, Letter C at letter D, halos lahat po sila ay pare-parehas lang ng definition. Iniba-iba lang po nila yung construction ng sentence. No? Pero ang kinuha, property of another person. So the, let the answer is in number five, letter B. Okay? So question number six. What is the visual or audible signal, visual or audible signal produced by a device to warn the occupants of a building of the presence of danger of fire? A. 
fire drill b fire hydrant c fire alert and d fire exit so saan lang ba yung nagpo-produce diyan ng visual or audible signal of course the answer is letter letter c ito pag may nagkamali pa dito sawang-sawa na ako magturo ng fire sa akle binigay ko na lahat no pati kaluluwa ko dugo pawis lahat na <laughs> pag hindi niyo to alam magwawala ako dito no letter c okay syempre letter c yan pag fire drill this is the practice no lagay niyo diyan practice of safe evacuation practice of safe evacuation Uh, ang keyword nito, visual or audible signal. Pag sa ano naman to, for example, sa Leia ka naman magsasagot. Ito pa rin yung keyword mo, visual or audible signal. Yun nga lang, ang answer mo na lang ay alarm. Hindi, wala nang fire. Burahin mo lang, ha? Okay? Pwede rin, keyword natin, dry run, yes, fire drill. Okay? Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? Ito, sinasabi ko to sa lahat ng pinagtuturuan ko. Kadalasan, ang bata papasa sa board exam pag marunong magbasa ng question or marunong umintindi ng sentence. So ano ang moral lesson dito? Magbasa kayo nang naiintindihan nyo siya. Dahil iniiba-iba nila yung construction ng question, hindi yan pare-parehas. Kung anong binigay namin sa inyo, yun yung exact words na lalabas sa board exam. Walang ganun. No? Yan ang katotohanan ng buhay. May possibility na lahat ng tinuturo namin dito or ilalabas namin question, eh hindi lumabas sa board exam. Yun yung mag kailangan yung ma-realize lahat. Lalo na yung mga first timers, first takers, hindi po lalabas. Porket sinabi ng review center nyo na ibibigay namin yung mga lalabas sa board exam. Hindi yung totoo. Ah, hindi po yung totoo. <laughs> Iba ang lalabas sa board exam, iba yung construction ng sentence, ang kailangan mong gawin, intindihin mo. Kaya nga, kung alam mo talaga kung paano siya may effect or paano talaga yung um, application, dun lang yan, pa, dun ka lang tatama. Okay? Maniwala kayo sa akin, Mag, may magchat-chat sa akin yan, ma, ma'am hindi nga lumabas. Kasi nga, lumabas yan, iba lang yung construction. Iba yung construction ng sentence. Kaya, ang kailangan yung mag-review ng mga definition of terms, yung kung paano siya ina-apply, kasi bala kayo dyan, bala kayo dyan. Lalaki na kayo. Alam nyo na yan. Kaya, so yun. So, per exit, ito naman po yung special exit for emergencies. Special exit for emergencies. O fire hydrant, alam niyo naman na yan. Yung sa nakakuha ng tubig yung mga ano natin. Okay? Number six. Question number seven. What is the smoke that indicates lack of air but if accompanied by large flames it indicates petroleum and petroleum products and rubber ulit ulit naman to indicates petroleum and rubber what is the smoke that indicates lack of air accompanied by large flames indicates petroleum and rubber a biting smoke b black smoke c white smoke and d fire smoke what is the answer Letter, letter B, black smoke, very good. Biting smoke, more on, may presence na chlorine. Lagay niyo dyan, chlorine, chlorine. Ang hirap lang magsulat, kaya niyo yan. Ayan, chlorine. So pag may presence ng chlorine, kadalasan that is a biting smoke. Okay? Pag white smoke, kadalasan naman po yan, ang keyword niyo dyan ay humid materials. So, ang mga nasusunog kadalasan kapag white smoke, mga humid materials, mga hay, yan. Okay? So, magkoproduce yan ng white smoke. Again, number seven, letter B. Okay. For number eight, 
Which of the following is the correct chain of events in a vehicular accident? Which of the following is the correct chain events in vehicular accident? A. Perception of hazard, start of evasive action, initial contact, maximum engagement, disengagement, stopping, and injury. B. Perception of hazard, start of evasive action, initial contact, maximum engagement, disengagement, and stopping, and injury. C. Start of evasive action, initial contact, perception of hazard, maximum engagement, disengagement, and stopping, and injury. And D, start of evasive action, initial contact, perception of hazard, maximum engagement, disengagement, and stopping and injury. What is the answer? Ang sagot natin ay letter. Number eight is letter. Sabi nila letter B, sabi ng iba letter A. The answer is letter, pare letter A. No, la Ma'am, yung A at B po magkaparehas ng, magkaparehas ng choices. Bakit letter A po? Kung mapapansin natin, parang nililito lang kayo ng gumawa ng question. No? Tingnan mo ah. Yung pa-end-end, tingnan mo ah. Yung construction po nung pagkakasunod-sunod, dalawang beses na ulit yung end dito sa letter B. May end dito, may end ulit dito. So, kung kung pareha sila ng answer, pareha silang tama, maghanap ka ngayon ng naiiba. Katulad nito, mali yung construction ng sentence. No? So, dum dumalawa yung end. Therefore, mali siya. Okay? So, ang answer natin ay number 8, letter A. Kaya letter A. Perception of hazard, start of evasive action, initial contact, maximum engagement, disengagement, stopping, and injury. Kaya, malino tayo dito. Number eight, letter A. Nine. Which of the following drugs affect the sensation, thinking, self-awareness, Emotion of a person. Which of the following drugs affect the sensation, thinking, self-awareness, and emotion of a person? A. Hallucinogen. B. Sedatives. C. Stimulants. And D. Narcotics. So ano ang may iba dyan? The answer is... Letter A, very good. Hallucinogen, no? Pag naapektuhan yung ating sensation, thinking, self-awareness, and emotion, that is hallucinogen. Yung mga stimulants naman natin, it is, it increase. Increase alertness. Increase alertness. Kaya nga, stimulant, no? Uppers. Other term for stimulant, uppers. Ba? Ano naman ang keyword natin kay narcotics? Pag, pag narcotics, it relieves pain. Painkiller. Kahit yun na lang. O, oh, painkiller. Painkiller, pain reliever, induced sleep. Yan. Narcotics. Pag sedative naman, it reduces anxiety. Reduce... Anxiety. Sensya na kayo sa sulat natin, ha? Dapat kasi doktor ako, eh. Kaso nagbago isip ko, eh. <laughs> Criminology na lang ako. <laughs> Sedative. Uh, okay? So, the answer here is letter A. Halo, sino dyan? Okay, number 9, A. Next, letter ay number 10. In order to preserve the integrity of evidence collected or gathered from the crime scene, what must be observed? So we are talking about the integrity of the evidence. So yeah, integrity. Okay. So what ano daw kailangan natin gawin? A. Identify and tag evidence. B. 
maintain the required chain of custody. C, photograph the evidence and D, seal the evidence collected. What is the answer? Number 10. Kung gusto natin ma-preserve ng integrity ng evidence, the answer is letter Letter B, maintain the required chain of custody. Kaya, again, letter B, maintain the required chain of custody. Itong identify, photograph, and seal, di ba? Lahat rin po yan, gusto natin makuha yung integrity. Yun nga lang, kung pag-uusapan natin overall, do, letter B. So, ha, number 10, letter B, maintain the required chain of custody. Eleven. So number eleven, the tool employed by our arsonist to delay the start of pipe and allow him to establish an alibi is A. Accelerant, B. Stopper, C. Timing device, and D. Delaying tactic. Ano daw yung tool na ginagamit ng isang arsonist to start and establish him an alibi? To delay the start of fire. A, accelerant. B, stopper. C, timing device. D, delaying tactic. The answer is letter C. Very good. No? Other term for timing device is? Nakita ko na kay Kamano. Very good. Plants. Diba? Kapag may presence ng accelerant, ng plants, at trailer automatic that is arson. Ah, pag may presence ng tatlong elemento ng arson, yung ating plant, accelerant, and ang ating trailer matic that is arson. Ah, mga prima pasi evidence po yun. So the answer here is letter C, timing device, plants. Very good. Okay, for question number 12, the following questions are part of the cardinal points of criminal investigation. Yung 5 W's and 1 H. 5 W's and 1 H. Pareha-parehas lang yung cardinal points. Except, A, how was the crime committed? B, why was the crime committed? And C, what is the offender's marital status? D, where was the crime committed? Answer. Ang answer natin dito, except, letter, wala tayong pakialam dun sa marital status ng ating um, offender. No? Hindi, hindi naman yun yung masyadong mahalaga. So the, letter, the answer here is letter C. Common sense na lang yung mga ganito. Pag may nakita kayo nito sa board exam, mga pamigay, no? letter C. Okay, letter C. Well, for number 13, which is not one of the basis criminal liability in our soul? Which is not one of the basis of criminal liability in our soul? Okay, A, location of fire. B, kind and character of the building burn. C, location of the building. D, whether the building burn was accompanied, occupied, sorry, occupied or not. What is the answer? O, ano daw yung hindi basis ng criminal liability? Kasi di ba, sa, para malamin yung criminal liability, malalaman mo yun kung meron aggravating circumstance or mitigating. So, ano yung nagiging basis natin dito? Bukod sa isa, the answer is letter a, location of fire. Kasi yung kind and character of the building bird, halimbawa, mga museum yung sinunog mo, halimbawa, no? yung character ng building, so magiging destructive arson. So tataas yung criminal liability, no? As, um, aggravating circumstance yun, so possible no? na maging basis ng liability. Location of the building, no? lalo na kung crowded yung area, so, magiging basis din yan, pwedeng destructive arson din yan. 
whether the building, building burn is occupied or not, ganun din po. So, ang naiiba lang dito is letter A. 13, letter A. Very good. Number 14. What is this process wherein confession is used to describe the events of crime? What is this process wherein the confession is used to describe the events of the crime? A. Reenactment of crime. B. Reconstruction of crime scene. C. Location of the building. And D. Physical reconstruction of crime. What is the answer? A or B? No? Ma'am, pwede po bang dahan-dahan? Sobrang dahan-dahan na to. Inuulit ko mga 10 times per, per, ano, per slide. Sige, babagalan ko pa. What is the... Joke lang, joke lang. Level 14. Uh, what is the answer here? <laughs> uh, number 14. Letter B. No, the answer is letter B. Number 14, letter B. Reconstruction of the crime scene. So may dalawang klase tayo ng reconstruction of the crime scene para maging malinaw. Meron tayong physical reconstruction wherein we reconstruct the crime scene through direction of the eyewitness. Masasabi niya, doon po siya, sin doon po siya sinampal, dilaglag, hinulog, and something ever. So physical reconstruction, no? Mental reconstruction, this is the keen, careful observation of the nature and condition or appearance of the materials and object at the scene para naman si investigator can infer an assumption at the crime. So kahit ang keyword mo lang dito sa mental reconstruction is um, in order to infer an, an assumption. Kahit yan na lang, yung ilagay mo. <laughs> ah. Okay ha? So the answer again, uulitin ko for question number 14 is letter B. No? Bangag. Uh, B. Okay, for question number 15. Primarily, RA-9165 is different from previous laws on illegal drugs because RA-9165 A. Gives a single definition of to dangerous drug B. Included in definition of regulated drug, the dangerous drugs C. Prefers the classification of that dangerous drugs to prohibited drug and D, did not remove the distinction between regulated and prohibited drug. Oh, again, primarily, RA-9165 is different from previous laws on illegal drug because RA-9165 is A, gives a single definition to dangerous drug. B, included the definition of regulated drug, the dangerous drugs. C, prefers the classification of dangerous drugs to prohibited drug, and D, did not remove the distinction between regulated and prohibited drug. Okay. So, because of the RA-9165, nagkaroon na, sinasabi ko ng mga lecturers lagi, letter A, gives a single definition to dangerous drug. Naging malinaw na yung definition of dangerous drug, kahit ano pa yan, kaya nagkaroon ng narcotic, nagkaroon ng the present stimulant and whatsoever, mga different classification ng drugs. Pero dahil sa 9165, nagkaroon po ng single definition to the dangerous drugs. So the answer in number 15 is letter A. Ano? Marami pang mali dito. Paki-note. Paki 15A. Okay, for number 16. <clears throat> the stiffening, o oh, parang ano ha, mag-answer kayo dito.
dito sa chat box, konti lang yung sumasagot. The stiffening of the body caused by severe trauma. Ito yung ano natin na, alam naman natin, pag namatay, titigas yung katawan. No? That, the, the time na tumigas yan, stiffening of the body na yan. Yan naman yung ibig sabihin ng stiffening. No? But it is caused, tinamay yung keyword mo dito, caused by severe trauma to the nervous system of intense stress. A. Post-mortem lividity. B. Cadaveric spasm. D. Rigor, rigor mortis. And D. Rigor mortis. What is the answer? Caused by severe trauma. Bakit may nagkakamali pa? Ha? Stiffening, pwede yung maging cadaveric spasm. Pwede rin rigor mortis. Yun na lang, merong nakalagay dito ang keyword na caused by severe trauma. Pag nagkakaroon tayo ng homicidal investigation, homicide investigation, ano ang sagot? Ano ang inohonop? Pag may mali pa, letter B, cadaveric spasm. Diba? Cadaveric spasm. Ano? Si Rigor Mortis, pinag-uusapan natin dito is the time of death. While cadaveric spasm, mode of death. Paano siya namatay? So, so, malalaman natin yan. Oh, kung homicide case ba yan, ano ba yan, di ba? True cadaveric spasm. Rigor Mortis, kadalasan nangyari yan 3 to 6 hours after death. While cadaveric spasm, pagkamatay niya, may kita mo matigas na kagad yung area or yung muscle na nagkaroon na stress. So, immediately, no, after death. In rigor mortis, all muscles are involved no, from head to toe. While in cadaveric spasm, ang matigas lang po is the particular group of muscle wherein nag-cause ng trauma. Usually, maikita natin ito sa kamay. No? Madalas, makikita po yan sa kamay. Ayan ha, pakinote po itong mga keyword natin dito sa rigor mortis and cadaveric spasa. Okay? So, ulitin ko lang, pagdating dito kay question number 16, the answer is letter B. Uh, tingnan natin, itest natin ang ating, yung, ano, so immediately after death, lalabas ang cadaveric spasa. Okay, 3 to 6 hours after death, anong mangyayari sa katawan? Magkakaroon na ano, 3 to 6 hours after death, lalabas ang very good, rigor mortis, no? Very good. Next, 20 to 30 minutes after death, mag-start na ang what? 20 to, 20 to 30 minutes after death, mangyayari na ang libor mortis. While 24 to 48 hours after death, is this the Onset of decomposition. Diyan mag-start ang decomposition natin 24 to 48 hours after death. Okay? So, paki, paki take note din po. Bago ko, bago ko inipat. Ay, sorry. Ayan na. So ulitin ko lang ha, ang answer natin sa number 16 ay letter B. Seventeen. What makes a sketch wrong? Again, what makes a sketch wrong? Tingnan niya itong mabuti ha. Um... Magbasa. Mabuti. A. Indicate the north direction with an arrow. B. To establish admissibility, the investigator must have the sketch verified. C. Use key capitals of the alphabet for listing down items of evidence. And D. Fill in all the details on your rough sketch at the scene. Final sketch may be prepared at the office. Oh. What is the answer here? Ah. Ano daw yung mali? No? Lahat to tama bukod sa isa. What makes a sketch wrong? Hindi laging makikita nyo sa notes yung 
Not ganon. Minsan ganito yung pagkaka-construct ng question. What makes a sketch wrong? Indicate north direction with an arrow. B to establish admissibility, the investigator must have the sketch verified. C use key capitals of the alphabet for listing down the items evidence. And D fill in all details on your rough sketch at the scene. Final sketch may be prepared at the office. Ano sa got? May sumasagot ng C, may sumasagot ng D. Ang sagot dito pare ay letter, pare letter D. Nakalagay dito, fill in all details on your rough sketch. Di ba? Sabi nga natin, may dalawang klase ng sketch. Mayroong rough at saka mayroong final sketch. Sa rough sketch, kaya nga rough, ibig sabihin, hindi pa lahat ng details makikita mo sa rough sketch. So, mali ka agad yung pagkakonstruct niya. Nakalagay dito, fill in all, all details. So, hindi pa tapos ang rough sketch. No? Sa final sketch, makikita that all details are prepared already. So, the answer here is letter D. No? This makes the sketch wrong. Okay. Number 17, Delta. Question number 18. kind of data may be gathered by investigator from public and private records including modus operandi files? What kind of data may be gathered by an investigator from public and private records including modus operandi files? A. Interrogation B. Interview C. Instrumentation and D. Information What is the answer? The answer here is letter D. Siya lang natin naman na bukod sa siya talagang answer, ang kinukuha talaga natin dito yung mga information or datas, di ba? Itong interrogation, interview, and lahat po ito ay three eyes or three tools in investigation. So the answer here is information. Okay? Letter, letter D. Okay, for question number 19. Sa 17 delta, pare, delta, ang answer. Kasi may lambing ka eh. Letter B. Sa 16, bravo. O, pwede na ba? 19. What is the forensic science of personal identification by dental characteristic? A. Dentistry. B. Forensic Odontology C. Dental Medicine D. All of this What is the answer? 19 The answer here is For Personal Identification of Forensic Science Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Forensic Odontology This is best also if the body is already burned No? Pag ang katawan na iniimbestigahan natin, gusto natin ma-identify kung sino siya, forensic odontology. Letter B. Okay, for question number 20. What is the suggested effective measures of AFFF with the water to produce a foam? Alam ko lumabas na ito sa board exam kung question na ito eh. Itong AFFF na to. Uh, so, what is the suggested effective, effective mixture? A, 6% water to 94% foam. B, 60% water to 40% foam. C, 94% water to, to 6% foam. And D, 50% water to 50% foam. Ang sagot natin dito. Letter, the answer is letter C. 
no? 94% water to 6% foam. Ang ibig sabihin ng AFFF is aqueous film forming foam. Aqueous film forming foam. Ang AFF is best for anong class? Anong class pa ng fire? Class Class B. Okay, ah. This is best for Class B fires. So, 20 letters. Actually, yung AFFF, pwede siya sa ha halos lahat. No? Kaya nga um, suggested talaga siya na meron kayong ganyan sa bahay. Yun nga lang, kung ang tanong is best, syempre class B. No? Okay, 21. The stage in the commission of crime of arson wherein all elements necessary for execution and accomplishment are present is black. The stage in the commission of crime wherein, tinan mo yung keyword that all elements necessary for the execution are present. A. Prostrated. B. Consummated. C. Attempted. And D. None of these. What is the answer? Kung lahat daw na elements at execution na gawa, na accomplish, ang sagot natin, Matic, letter B. Consummated. No? Okay, kasi na na accomplish na execute kasi kapag frustrated nandiyan yung elements lahat no na execute pero hindi na accomplish kung ano yung intent so hindi frustrated. Attempted present lahat ng elements pero hindi na execute, hindi na accomplish kaya attempted. So dito, kung lahat nagawa, na accomplish din, the answer is letter B. Ha? So, sakto lang naman yung bilis natin, na 22. Traversing a highway with double yellow line with dotted line in between means the motorist can A. Not overtake under any circumstances. B. Overtake as long as there is no traffic enforcer looking. C. Overtake when opposite direction is clear of incoming vehicles. And D. Not overtake when there is oncoming vehicle on the opposite lane. Oh. Ano answer dito? Kapag meron daw double yellow line with dotted line, kadalasan pare, no? Pag yellow line, tandaan nyo, hindi kayo pwedeng mag-overtake. Letter A. Yan lang yung ibig sabihin kadalasan kapag may yellow lane na pavement marking, bawal pong mag-overtake in any circumstances. Kaya, letter A, no overtaking. Or not overtake under any circumstance. Number 22 is alpha. Question 23. Okay, here. What kind of search method is conducted when searchers start at a central point? What kind of search method is conducted when searchers start at a central point? A. Concentric search. B. Double strip. C. Strip search. D. Zone search. What is the answer? Ah. Huh? Kapag conducted central point matic, that is letter letter A, concentric search. Bakit yung double strip, sinabi ko na yun kanina, binigay ko na yung keyword. Madalas, kinagamit ang zone search for large areas. Pag yan ang sinasearch mo. So, ang, ang answer natin dito ay alpha. Alpha.
Oke. Twenty four. The burning B of building used as offices of the government or any of its agencies was burned. It is classified as blank. A, destructive arson. B, malicious arson. C, none of these. The other cases of arson. Ano ang sagot dito? 24. The answer is letter. Pag ang mga sinunog ay offices ng government, that is other cases of, so mali, mali ito ha, letter D dapat to, D. Other cases of arson. Okay, Delta. Okay, so letter D ang sagot sa 24. Delta. Sa destructive arson, depende yan kung anong class ng building yung nasunog, saan. Okay, so the answer here, Nakalagay naman yan. <laughs> letter, letter D, 24. 25. Dito tayo. Mandatory drug testing is not required by RA 9165. Mandatory drug testing is not required by RA 9165 for A. Applicant for firearms license and for permit to carry firearms outside residence. B. All persons charged before the prosecutor's office with a criminal offense having an imposable penalty of not less than six years and one day. C. Officers and members of the military, police, and other law enforcement agencies. And D. Officers and employee of public and private offices. Sino lang dito yung hindi required magkaroon ng mandatory drug testing under RA 9165? The answer in 25 is letter, of course, letter D. Officers and employee of public and private offices. Diba? Hindi naman tayo nire-require na mag-conduct na, ano, na mandatory drug testing, lalo na sa mga private offices. Diba? So, letter D. Lahat ito, kailangan ng um, uh, drug testing. Pagkukuha ka ng lisensya sa firearms mo, kapag ang kaso mo is drug-related, and if you are the mem a member of military, PNP, or any other law enforcement agency. Okay, for question number 26. Which of the following is not known cause of human trafficking? Okay, which of the following is not a known cause of human trafficking? Ano ba yung hindi sagot dito? Uh, a. Immediately benefits of working abroad. B. Weak enforcement of laws and corruption. C. Poverty and family orientation and values. And D. Presence of available and ready clientele. Ha. Hindi daw known cause ng human trafficking. Lahat daw to ay cause ng human trafficking. Lahat to nagiging cause kung bakit nagkakaroon ng trafficking in person bukod sa isa. Ano, halos lahat ito ay negative bukod sa isa. Ano sagot natin? Pag mahirap yung pamilya, kadalasan at merong poor orientation and values, syempre nagkakos ng trafficking yan. So check Weak enforcement and law, laws and corruption, nagkakos din yan ng human trafficking. Check. So, meron na lang tayong dalawa. Immediate benefit of working abroad, tsaka presence of available and ready clientele. What is the answer? Hmm? Nagkakos ng trafficking. The answer here is letter. For number 26 is Letter D, Delta. Kaya, ito po yung sagot sa 26, Delta. 
Okay? Not a known cause of human trafficking. Kadalasan kung bakit nag-abroad ng mga tao, they believe that it is a immediate benefit. Di ba? Yung, yung yayaman kayo agad kapag mag-abroad. Yan yung nagiging dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon din ng human trafficking. Right? So the answer here is letter D. 26, letter D. Okay. For question number 27. Which of the following gives the feeling of a need for more and more of illegal drugs to achieve the same legal of effect? Which of the following gives the feeling of a need for more and more of illegal drugs to achieve the same legal effect? A. Physical dependency. B. Psychological dependency. C. Toxicity. And D. Tolerance. What is the answer? Yung kailangan mo daw, ito yung keyword mo dito, need for more and more. So, kapag atik ka, ang, ang tamang terminology, you are a drug dependent. Di ba? Pag, pag um, yung kilos mo, yung ipag-iisip mo, lahat nakadependent na sa droga, ang tamang terminology dyan is drug dependent. So sa drug dependent, pag naging dependent ka na at dinadagdagan mo na yung uh, dosage mo, ano ang kailangan mong gawin? That is increasing of tolerance, letter D. Ha? Number 27, letter D. Okay? Pag natin sa physical dependence, pag ang naapekto han sa iyo is yung mismo katawan ng physically, no? Nagkakaubo ka, no? Physical. Yun na yun na mismo yung keyword mo, physical, no? Pag psychological, ang keyword mo diyan mentally, no? Nagiging de dependent ka mentally. Oh. Toxicity, may kinalaman yan kapag uh, Kung sinisira mo yung, nilalasin mo yung mismong katawan mo, toxic, di ba? Nakukuha yan sa drugs. Si tolerance, applicable to, hindi lang sa drugs. Applicable din yan sa alcohol. Ah, sa alcohol. So the answer in 27 is letter D. Okay, for question number 28. Ay, ayan. Meron pala akong ilagay dito. So, pag tolerance, we are talking about a physical dependence accustomed to a drug for increasing of dosage. Pag sinabi mo namang ano, habituation, we are talking about psychological dependence wherein we need to function. Yan ang keyword na believes that needy, needed to function at work. No? Hindi mo na kayang kumilos kapag hindi ka nakakadroga. Psychological dependence through habituation. Addiction, physical dependence, severe caving ang keyword mo dito. Yan So pakitake note po. Para makuha nyo yung mga hinahanap nyo yung keywords. Okay. Bitin lang natin ha. 27 Delta. Okay. For question number 28. When a bullet is fired, through a pane of glass. The side of the glass where concentric fractures will most probably appear is blank the pane of the glass. <laughs> when a bullet is fired through a pane of glass, the side of the glass where concentric fracture will most probably appear is blank the pane of glass. A. Both sides where the bullet entered B, neither of the side of. C, the side where the bullet exited. And D, the side where the bullet entered. What is the answer for question number 
28. Okay, ang sagot nila, alpha, alpha, okay, alpha. Okay, alpha, alpha, may nag-charlie. Okay, so pag pinag-usapan natin ang concentric, ano ang ibig sabihin niya? Concentric fractures. Ha? Pag concentric fractures, we are talking about series of broken circles originated on the surface starting as the same side as the following. Hmm. Ang sagot natin dito ay letter letter D. Delta. 28 delta. The side where the bullet entered. Okay? Because it, it originates to the surface starting as the same side where it entered. Okay? So the answer is delta. 28. Twenty-nine. The following are samples of questions that follows the cardinal point. Except, ito na naman tayo kay cardinal points of investigation. A. What is the economic status of an offender? B. What specific crime committed? C. When was the crime committed? And D. Who committed the crime? The answer here is letter. Siyempre, ano lang naman yung naiiba dito? Letter A. What is the economic status of the offender? Okay. So for question number 30, which of the following is a blunt force injury caused by dragging that Tears of the tissue often caused by very forceful blunt instrument blows. Uh, mag Ito yung mga wounds. No? Pinag-uusapan natin wounds. So, kung blunt force at meron tayong injury, no? merong tears of the tissue, ang keyword natin dyan, that is an open wound. May dalawang klaseng wound kasi tayo. Meron tayong close wound tsaka open wound. Pag open wound, kadalasan na-open natin yung um, epidermal skin. ba? So, what is the answer here? Gumamit ng blunt instrument at nagkaroon ng tear of the tissue. The, the answer here is letter letter D. No? Laceration. Okay, laceration. Pag abrasion, ito yung pina, tinatawag nating gas-gas sa Tagalog, no? The removal of the um, epidural layer of the skin. Bruce, I mean, contusion pala. Conti, contusion is also known as bruise. Punctures naman po may kinalaman sa mga sharp and pointed instrument. Sharp, sulat ko na lang. Sharp pointed. Cushion boost. Removal of epilial. Epilial layer. na sinulat na Okay next 31 What is the elevated structure that is built for safety of pedestrian crossing busy highways what is the elevated structure that is built for the safety of pedestrian crossing busy highway? Pag pedestrian, yung mga taong dumadaan. A. Skyway. B. Flyover. C. Overpass. D. Underpass. Napa 
madali naman na ito, letter C, overpass. Yung underpass, syempre kung elevated, oh, under naman yung salita nung sa underpass. So, pailalim naman. It's either under the busy highway, di ba? So, baliktad. Parehas lang naman yan for pedestrian. Yung atin naman tinatawag na skyway, this is the modern urban system above street. Yung keyword natin, modern... Modern urban system, urban system above street, above street. For free free flow. Letter C again thirty one. Letter C. Ang linaw, ma'am. Tanggapin mo na. Binabasa ko naman. Modern sub-urban system above street. Skyway. Thirty-two. Chinese ba? 32, tagging of physical evidence aside from marking should be made. Tagging of physical evidence aside from marking should be made. A, at the crime scene upon collection. B, before received by evidence custodian. C, immediately after receipt of evidence custodian. And D, in any of these. Saan ba tayo nagkakandak ng tagging, marking of physical evidence sa crime scene? Ha? So, therefore, saan po? A, B, C, or D? Tagging of physical evidence aside from marking should be made at the crime scene upon collection. Ha? Letter A. Tama naman ito lahat, actually, before receive the evidence custodian. Siyempre, kailangan na markahan na nga naman yun. Di ba? Tama naman. Immediately after receive of evidence custodian, pwede din kasi nino-note din naman yun ng evidence custodian kung ano mga nakukuha niya. Pero kung lalawakan natin, mga general, yung question, at the crime scene of our collection. So the answer is alpha. Kawala-wala ako. Nagpatay na ako ng camera para ano eh. Malakas yung internet. <clears throat> 32. Alpha. 33. Which of the following is not considered as drug trafficking pursuant to the applicable provision of RA-9165? Which of the following is not considered as drug trafficking pursuant to the applicable provision of RA-9165? A. Cultivation, culture, and de delivery. B. Transportation, distribution, importation, exportation, and possession. C. Use, abstinence, consumption, addiction. And D. Administration, dispension, manufacture, sale, and trading. Ang pinag-uusapan natin, drug trafficking, no? So, pagbebenta, no? Pagbebenta, pagdidistribute ng droga. Ano lang dito yung hindi kasama sa pagdidistribute, pagbebenta ng droga? A, B, C, or D? This is common sense. Letter... Letter C, kasi alam nyo naman, yung mga first time na maging addict, we consider them as victims. Kaya katalasan, ang ginagawa lang dyan, pinarirehab. So ang answer natin dito, ang hindi lang trafficking is letter C. Number 33, Charlie.
34. Criminal investigation of homicide or murder is discovery process. The investigator seeks to discover and document the following important facts except D. Uh, criminal investigation of homicide or murder is discovery process. The investigator seeks to discover and document the following important facts except D. A. Cause of death. B. Investigative process. C. Identity of the offender. And D. Type of death of crime or crime. Uh, what is the answer? Letter. Sa criminal investigation of homicide or murder. Ano daw po ang kailangan gawin ng isang criminal investigator except one? The cause of death, investigative process, in identity of the offender, or the type of death or crime. Ang sagot natin dito ay except one, letter, letter A. Bakit? Bakit? Medical legal ang gumagawa nito. Officer. Si investigator, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito ha, sa criminal investigation, no? Criminal investigation, si investigator, kailangan malaman niya kung anong klaseng process ang gagawin niya. Anong identity ng offender? Ano ang type of crime? So ang answer natin dito ay A. Autopsy ang ginagawa, cause of death, di ba? So medical legal officer, the answer is alpha. So 34, alpha. 35. Hmm. Nadali kayo. Very good. <laughs> Pleasure or reward is a part of the brain affected by pain. Thus, motivation why people use drugs and alcohol is to A. Forget their problems. B. Feel good. C. Get high. D. Spend money. Uh, uh, Gusto natin ng pleasure or reward. Therefore, ano ang nagiging motivation ng mga drug addicts or alcohol addicts? Bakit sila umiinom? Gusto nila ang kadalasang reason kung bakit motivation. So ano bang reward dito? Nag-iisang reward dito? To? The reward to feel good. Okay, to feel good, bravo. Ha? Bravo. Okay? Ang reward lang dito is to feel good. Okay, bravo. 35, bravo. Thirty-six. Which of the following is not a condition precedent before an arrested person may be required to undergo a laboratory examination within 24? Okay, within 24 hours yan. Lagyan nyo ng hours. Okay, which of the following is not a condition precedent before an arrested person may be required to undergo a laboratory examination? Within 24 hours. Yung hindi kailangan i-undergo daw ng laboratory examination. Okay. A. A person is manifestly showing symptoms of drug abuse. Hmm. B. There is a clear showing that the suspect was under the influence of drugs. C. The person is showing physical signs of drug abuse. And D. The person is showing psychological drug addiction. What is the answer? Ano to, situational ulit, no? Lahat daw to ay required mag-undergo ng laboratory examination. Kunwari, nagkaroon ka, may hinuli kang tao, dinala mo ngayon, dinitain mo. Within 24 hours, it is required 
to undergo a laboratory examination. Kapag ano, what? O, ano lang yung naiiba dito? Letter A, B, C, or D. Tingnan nyo, iniba-iba lang yung construction ng sentence, pero yung tatlo dito, magkakaparehas lang ng meaning. Oh, the person is manifestly showing symptoms of drug abuse. Therefore, nakikita sa katawan niya, sa buong pagkatao niya, pag tingin mo pa lang sa kanya, automatic, nag-drug siya. Okay. Ito, there is a clear showing that the suspect was under the influence. Clear showing, ang keyword mo dyan. Dito sa C, showing physical signs. Ano lang na iba dito? Letter D. Psychological drug addiction. Hindi naman tayo sure na ang isang taong di nakakapag-isip ng tama, drug addict agad. Pwedeng mayroon siyang um, sakit sa utak, no? mental disability. No? So letter D, yung mata, para yung nakikita sa mata, that is a physical sign. Nakikita mo sa mata niya eh, no? physically. No? So, there's a probable cause to believe that the person has taken drugs. Unlike sa psychological drug addiction. No? Ano, baliw lang. Paano kung baliw lang yung tao? ba? Diba? Psychological lang. So, letter D. Ang naiiba dito. Letter D. Pare-parehas ng meaning yung A, B, at C. Bukod sa letter D. 36 Delta. 37. Which of the following is not one of the existing conditions which lend cohesive to modern-day drug trafficking organization? Which of the following is not one of the existing conditions which lend cohesive to modern-day drug trafficking organization? A. Corrupt government, official, and society indifference. B. Exploiting social and political conditions. C. Vertical integration and alternative sources of supply. And D. Insulation of leaders. So, lahat daw to ay nagkukos na modern day drug trafficking. Bukod sa isa. Ano lang may iba dito? Number 37. Ano lang ba yung hindi negative dito? Bakit nagkakaroon ng organized crime group? No? Kaya nagkakaroon ng mga organized crime groups kasi gumagawa sila ng organized crime at yung kinikater nila, yung mga taong hindi nakikater ng mga legit businesses. Therefore, pwede tong letter C, vertical integration and alternative sources of supply. Letter B, pwede din to. Nag-exploit ng social and political conditions. So pwede din. Alpha, corrupt government, official, and society indifference, pwede din. Kasi di ba kasama sa elements ng organized crime group, di ba meron tayong enforcer, meron tayong corruptor, meron tayong corruptee. So the answer here is letter, letter D. Huwag kayo maniwala dito. Ha? Letter D po. Alin lang ako na na ano dyan, highlight. 37, Delta. Insulation of leaders. Ah, 37, Delta. Pari lang ako nang na-highlight, sorry. Pag sinabi mo kasing insulation of leaders, no? Meron mga leaders, meron tayong iba't ibang type ng leader. Yung mga um, insulated lead, leaders, sila yung hindi na, paano ko ba ito may explain? Mahirap silang tupiin. No? Meron silang sariling organization na sila-sila lang yung nagkakaintindihan. So hindi naman siya ne technically negative. Hindi nga sila kum kumukuha ng opinion ng others. Yun nga lang, hindi naman talaga siya makaka-apekto sa modern day tra drug trafficking. So, Kung titingnan natin, siya yung pinaka-list na mahalaga dito. Letter B. Okay? 38. 
considering that the motor vehicle has stalled or bogged down as traffic enforcer or patrol officer, the following should be done. Exact. Consider that the motor vehicle has stalled or bogged down. As traffic enforcer or patrol officer, the following should be done. Exact. Okay, may nakita kang bogged down vehicle. Ikaw ay patrol officer. Meron... Ano ang dapat mong gawin bukod sa isa? A. Ensure the safety of other motor vehicle passing through in the area. B. Ignore the situation and just continue patrolling function. C. Help push motor vehicle as shoulder of the road if practicable. And D. Check whatever the defect or condition of stalled or bugged motor vehicle. What is the answer? Meron pa rin nagkakamali dito sa mga situational. No? Tingnan mo mabuti. Ah. Sa choices pa lang, isa lang naman yung negative dito. Eh. No? Ano? May sumagot pa rin ng Alpha. May sumagot pa rin ng Charlie. Paano? Ah. Siyempre, ikaw police officer, napaka-imposible naman na mag-ignore ka ng situation. So, Pag mga ganito guys, basahin nyo muna, no? dibdibin nyo muna. Siya lang yung negatibo sa lahat ng choices. no? So, the answer is B, ignore the situation. Never na ang police officer or traffic enforcer mang ignore ng traffic accident or incident or an kahit anong issue sa trafiko. Bawal po nilang gawin yun. Trabaho kasi nila yun, di ba? Ha? Yes, dibdibin talaga. Yes. So, bravo. No, 38, bravo. 39. The largest volume of evidence received by crime laboratory is in relation to. The largest volume of evidence received by the crime laboratory is in relation to. A. Murders and homicide. B. Ballistic examination. C. Illegal drugs. D. Falsification of document. What is the answer? O kadalasan, ang largest volume na nakukuha is, of course, illegal drugs. Charlie. No? 39, Charlie. O, tapos, last number before, tap, last number to, tapos break tayo ng 15 minutes. Okay. Which of the following in terms used to describe the separation of traffic units involved in vehicular accident? Which of the following is term used to describe the separation of traffic units involved in vehicular accident? A. Physical reconstruction. B. Final position. C. Disengagement. And D. Mental reconstruction. For number 40, saan lang ba dito yung, ano, yung separation, yung meaning? Physical reconstruction, final position, mental reconstruction, or disengagement? The answer for number 40 is disengagement. Siyempre, hindi na alpha, hindi na rin met delta. Nasabi ko na yan kanina, final position hindi din kasi stopping yan. Halos parehas lang sila ng definition. So, the answer is child. Okay? Pag sinabi nating separation of traffic units involved in vehicular accident, the answer is child. Okay? So our time is 10.37, okay, 37, o saktong 11.55, mag-start tayo ulit. Ay, sorry, 11.55, <laughs> 10.55, .55, sorry, 10.55. Okay, water break lang tayo.
okay. Question number 41 na po tayo. Okay, start the tie 41. Okay, the withdrawal symptoms produced by a drug is manifested by the withdrawal symptoms produced by a drug is manifested by A, withdrawal symptoms that are usually severe and incapacitating B, withdrawal symptoms which are psychological in nature C. A person who is always seen with alcohol but never with heroin. And D. Symptoms which are usually opposite to the effects of the drug itself. What is the answer? Hmm? The answer is... Bakit hindi ko nakikita ang mga sagot niya? Wait na. Yung. So may nagsasagot ng D. May, may delta. Okay. So, ang answer natin dito ay letter, very good, halos lahat kayo ay tama, letter D. Okay? Symptoms which are usually opposite to the effects of the drug itself. Kaya nga withdrawal, no? yung kabaliktaran, yung benefit na nakukuha nila kapag kumukuha sila ng droga, kabaliktaran nun pag nagkakaroon na ng withdrawal. No? Pag gusto na nila mag-quit sa drugs. So, um, letter D, 41 Delta. Kadalasan naman sa mga choices, halos lahat tama eh. Kailangan mo lang hanapin yung pinakatama, yung pinaka, pinakamalapit, kadalasan kung ano yung general. Okay? The best answer. Very good. Delta. Okay? So, the question number 42. While investigating a case, you stumbled on an intelligence record which could be important to your investigation. Probably, the greatest problem of intelligence record as the basis for an ongoing investigation is that they are not A. Purge does not totally current B. Given to the investigator on time and C. Always completely accurate D. The full story Kapag nakakuha ka pa ng intelligence record, kadalasan ano ang dahilan bakit sinabing record yan? Kasi, pas na yan, luma. Parang kayo, nung ex mo, pas na. Oh. So, therefore, ano lang dito yung issue natin kapag record? What is the answer? A, B, C, or D? Oh, wala, walang uhugot. May mga nasasaktan pa sa usaping ex. Okay, ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, if intelligence record 'yan, ang issue natin kapag kumuha tayo ng intelligence record sa current nating um case is it is not current na, 'di ba? It is not totally current. Pwedeng may nangyari na, may current issues na, yung past na nakuha ng record na 'yan eh hindi na mauulit. Huh? So, yun yung greatest problem niya. It is purge does not totally current. Alpha. Huh? Greatest problem of intelligence record for an ongoing investigation. Kasi present na to eh. Sabi nga nila, no? pag pas-pas na, no? o pas in <laughs> may mga humuhugot pa sa GC. Ay, okay, so 42, alpha. Forty-three. The following are countries belonging to the G7 nation, which are mandated to devise international standards and policies to combat money laundering. Except, the following are countries belonging to the G7 nations, which are mandated to devise international standards and policies to combat money laundering. Except. A. China, South Korea, and Russia. B. France, Germany, and Italy. C. Japan. 
the United Kingdom of Great Britain, United States of America, and Canada? What is the answer? Uh, tandaan nyo. Ano? Pugjik. Ano lang yung hindi kasama sa Pugjik? Letter? Letter A. China, South Korea, and Russia. Itong France, Germany, Italy, Japan, United Kingdom, lahat to ay part na G7 nation. Ha? Kasama yan lahat. Bukod dito sa Alpha. So number 43, the answer is Alpha. Forty-four. A minor who is convicted for the possession of illegal drugs is entitled to a suspended sentence, b suspension of judgment, c custody by the SWD, and d suspended enforcement. Oh, sa juvenile na tinuro sa inyo ni Mam Ella, ano ang sagot dito kapag minor? Ha. Ah, pag below 18 years of age, ano ang nangyayari sa mga conviction natin diyan? Suspended sentence, suspension of judgment, custody of this DSWD o suspended enforcement. Matik, the answer is Basta pag minor it is suspended sentence. Okay? Automatic yan, suspended sentence. Alpha Convicted of possession of illegal drugs, number 44, Alpha. For 45, the tool of investigation which may be useful in establishing the presence of the suspect. The tool of investigation which may be useful in establishing the presence of the suspect at the crime scene. Due to physical evidence discovered therein is A. Interrogation B. Interview C. Information D. Instrumentation oh. Lahat naman to, tools in criminal investigation or yung three eyes in criminal investigation. Pero ano yung ginagamit natin in establishing the presence of physical evidence discovered in the crime scene? Ha. Ah. Letter Letter D instrumentation no sa iba yan criminalistics no ina-identify natin lahat ng na-discover nating uh, physical evidence sa crime scene is instrumentation Okay So 45 delta 46. The following are modes by which the identity of the suspect may be known. Except, ang pinag-uusapan natin na identity of the suspect. Except. So, may isang naiiba lang daw dito. <clears throat> A. By corpus delicti. B. Eyewitnesses. C. Confession or admission and D. Circumstantial evidence. Ano lang yung naiiba dito? Hmm? Again, katulad nitong question na to, halos lahat naman to tama ulit. No? La tama din to talaga lahat. May naiiba lang. No? Add one out. Okay. Oh. So sa choices, meron tayong corpus delicti, eyewitness, confession, or admission, circumstantial evidence. Ang magiging sagot natin dito ay Except one. The answer is ay, Hindi ko pa nalagay. The answer here is alpha. Corpus delicti. Tay. Bakit hindi eyewitness, confession, circumstantial evidence? Itong mga to, ha, lahat to, halos lahat verbal to identify identity. Itong corpus delicti, pasok po siya dito. Tingnan nyo. Ha. Uh, sa physical evidence, 
pwedeng corpus delicti, associative evidence, tsaka tracing evidence. Lahat to identify din po, pero through physical evidence. Gets nyo ba? While yung choices na iba, kailangan natin ng witnesses, no? through eyewitness, confession, circumstantial, kailangan natin ng eyewitness para ma-identify natin siya. So ang naiiba lang natin dito sa choices, si corpus delicti. May kita natin dito. O, oh, yan. Ito yung magkakasama when it comes to physical evidence. Corpus delicti, associative evidence, and tracing evidence. Yan na. So ang answer po dito kay number 46 is alpha. Sino-sino yung mga kasama ni corpus delicti? Ito po. Through physical evidence, si associative, pati si Tracy. Next. Ayan na. Alpha, 46. 47. <clears throat> what is this function that deals with the Okay, nasagot na. Okay? Deals with the identity, location, arrest of a person committing a crime and bring him or her to the justice. The answer here is letter C. Diba? Criminal investigation. Si investigation, um, kaya naging criminal investigation, nakikita natin dito yung three aims. Yung identify, locate, and provide evidence for the um, prosecution, di ba? To bring him to justice. While itong si investigation, fact-finding lang, no? napaka-general. Yan yung pinagkaiba niya. Finding. <laughs> Ba't parang iba yung basa? Hmm. Ayan. So the answer is Charlie. Pasok na dito yung threefold aims. Very good. Yung identify, locate, provide. So, criminal investigation number 47. <clears throat> How about this? <clears throat> 48. The dry chemical that is intended to use for class A, B, C, FARS is A, multipurpose dry chemical, B, Carbon dioxide dry chemical, C, ordinary and regular dry chemical, and D, all of this. Saan dito sa mga to ang pwede natin gamitin for A, B, C fires? Carbon dioxide, multipurpose, o ordinary? <clears throat> ang sagot dito pare ay... Letter A. Kasi si multipurpose or multipurpose dry chemical, kilala rin yan bilang ABC dry chemical. Ha? ABC dry chemical. Parehas lang sila ng definition. So from the, from the name itself, malalaman mo na kung para saan siya. Para siya sa class A, B, at C fires. Diba? Napaka... Common sense. Si carbon dioxide dry chemical naman, maganda siya for C fires. Okay, si ordinary regular, maraming klase niyan, all of this. Uh, um, Ang dali lang naman ito, no? Si class A fire, para sa niyan? Para sa combustible material. Combustible material. Katulad ng papel, wood, yung mga madaling masunog na bagay, no? Hay, no? Lahat ng solid combustible material. Si B, kaya yan B, para yan sa flammable materials. Pag sinabi mo naman flammable, tandaan mo, that is liquid. Ha? Yan, diyan tayo nagkakali.
natutuwa na, tandaan nyo itong madlang people. Yung salitang combustible, flammable, at saka inflammable, lahat ibig sabihin niyan madaling masunog. Makinig kayo ha. Oy, mga madlang people, mga dami ng chat chat makinig muna kayo. Yung combustible, flammable, tsaka inflammable, ibig sabihin niyan lahat, madaling masunog. Pero yun nga lang, kunwari, walang nakalagay sa choices na liquid o kaya solid. Minsan kasi combustible liquid, combustible solid. Di ba may mga ganyan-ganyan yan? Kapag walang ganon, automatic, pag sinabi mong combustible, this is solid. Flammable, automatic, that is liquid. And inflammable, that is liquid or gas. Ha? Huwag malilito ha. Yung inflammable, hindi ibig sabihin yan, hindi nasusunog. Kabalik tara, nasusunog pa rin. Ha? Nasusunog pa din. So, ulitin ko lang. Si A fires, those are for combustible materials which are solid. Yung class B fires, para naman yan sa mga flammable liquids such as yung gasolina, kerosene, ganyan. Letter C, para naman yan from the letter itself, no? Electric. Electric fires. C. Diba? So, sabi niya, yung A, B, C, dry chemical, pwede siya sa mga solid, pwede siya sa liquid, kahit sa electric fire. Yun yung ibig sabihin mo. Okay? Malino tayo dito ha. Eh, para naman yung letter D, ma'am? Class D fires. Oh. Para naman yun sa mga metals. Metal fires. Ha? Metal pa mga, ano, uh, mga jume. No? Sa dulo. Magnesium. Mga ganun-ganun. So, yan yung pasok sa atin sa letter class D fires. Forty-nine. While driving towards the accident scene, the motorist should. Uh, while driving towards the accident scene, papunta ka no, no may na, nakasalubong kang accident scene. Ano ang kailangan mong gawin as a motorist? A. Ignore the incoming person and motor vehicles. B. A certain hazards to approach traffic. C. A certain possible situation at the scene. And D. Consider obstruction on approach. What is the answer? For number 49. Halos lahat ulit tama. No? Kung mga, mga pinakamali lang dito, Alpha. Siyempre, hindi ka pwedeng mag-ignore ng mga tao. Okay? Pero ang pinag-uusapan natin dito ay accident. Accident, accident. So pag may aksidente, ano ang kailangan mong i-consider? Do you no? A certain hazards to approach traffic, a certain possible situation at the scene, or consider obstruction on approach. Ang sagot dito pare ay delta. Consider obstruction on approach. Okay? Letter D. Consider obstruction on approach. So, Delta. Well, 50. What is the term used when a crime is committed in more than one state. Ito napaka-common sense na nito, no? Kapag merong crime na na-commit in more than one state, na-apektuhan yan, more than one state, two, two or more countries, matik that is A, trafficking in person, B, transnational crime, C, organized crime, and D, environmental crime. Hmm? 
Ang sagot natin dito ay Matic that is transnational crime. Bravo. No? Yung 49 natin, Delta. Uh, 50 is Bravo. Yung trafficking in person that is RA-9208. Pag organized crime naman, consider natin organized crime group yan pag it is involvement of 3 to 3 or more person. No? Environmental crime may kinalaman naman sa environment or ecology. So what is the answer? Bravo for 50. Fifty-one. What is this evidence that has a mass and occupy space? A. Physical. B. Circumstantial. C. Testimonial. D. Hearsay. Kung ano, kung matatandaan natin sa science, anything that has mass and occupy space is matter. So, therefore, ano matter dito? Physical. Di ba? Physical evidence. Alpha. Material. Evidence. So, physical, pwede nyo real evidence, object evidence, pare-parehas lang yun. No? Physical, real, object. Okay, testimonial, hearsay. So, si hearsay, pwede ba siyang gamitin sa korte? Pwede lang pag expert witness. Diba? Tandaan nyo din to. Expert witness. So, 51 is alpha 52. Ah, tingnan natin to. Without the supply of illegal drugs, it will be difficult for a drug addict to A. Be happy and feel good. B. Sustain their habit of drug abuse. C. Undergo rehabilitation. And D. Have easy access to illegal drugs. Alas lahat ulit tama, makikita natin. Diba? So, without the supply of illegal drugs, it will be difficult for drug addicts to be happy and feel good, be, sustain their habit of drug abuse, si undergo rehabilitation, and be, have easy access to illegal drugs. Ang sagot natin dito ay... Siyempre, ang pinaka malapit na sagot is sustain their habit of drug abuse. No? Yan naman talaga yung rason bakit nilalabanan natin yung, yung um, pagbebenta, yung drug trafficking para mawalan na po sila ng supply and they cannot su sustain their habit of drug abuse. So the answer is bravo for number 52. For number 53, that resulting from asphyxia are due to asphyxia. A. Sudden or gradual cessation of oxygen intake. B. Sudden and gradual loss of perspiration. C. The hardening and clotting of blood. And D. Lack of platelets in the blood. Ano sagot dito? Asphyxia is also known as suffocation. Other than for asphyxia is suffocation. Therefore, kapag nasa suffocate ka, nawawalan ka na oxygen sa katawan. So the answer is alpha. Gradual loss of perspiration. Perspiration, ibig sabihin yung mga toxic natin sa katawan, nilalabas natin through pawis. Di ba? So hindi yan. Hindi yan yung sagot. Hardening and clotting of the blood, hindi ulit yan kasi libor morphis yan. Lack of platelets in the blood kapag, ano, nawawalan tayo ng platelets kapag na-dengue ka, na-dengue ka na ba pare? No? 
So, hindi yan. So, part yan ng blood yung platelets. Uh, so, the answer here, yung pinakamalapit is alpha. 53 alpha, 54. Which of the following is objective of traffic engineering to achieve efficient, free, and rapid flow of traffic? So, pinag-uusapan natin dito yung um, five E's in traffic. So, traffic engineering. So, ano ang reason bakit meron tayong traffic engineering? A, so that the motorist and other road user can avoid traffic accident. B, all of this. C, so that the motorist and other road users will have enjoyable and convenient ride. And D, so that the motorists and other road users can reach their destination safely and on time. What is the answer? Is the answer? Siyempre, kung pinag-uusapan natin ng engineering, pinag-uusapan rin natin yung mismo road, road itself. Therefore, tama lahat. The answer is bravo. No? All of this. Gusto natin mag-avoid ng traffic accident, maging convenient yung ride, at mapabilis, at maging safe ang pag-travel sa destination. Okay? So, answer, bravo. 55. Which of the following is best reason why biorhythm is an important aspect of traffic safety so that the person can avoid accident? So biorhythm is a fury. No? Fury na meron daw tayong highs and lows sa ating ugali. No? Yung ating mismo katawan, merong high and low. So pag nasa high state tayo, masaya hindi tayo magpokos ng traffic. Pag nasa load state tayo, huwag daw tayong mag-drive kasi pwedeng magkaroon ng aksidente. Therefore, ano ang sagot dito? A. Knows his physical capacity on a certain day. B. Knows his intellectual capacity in a certain day. C. Gives hints on how he tends to feel in a certain day. And D. A certain physical, emotional, and intellectual condition in a certain day. What is the answer? So sinabi ko na ano, ano yung biorhythm, yung sistema ng teorya na to, na mga tao may high state and low state. Pag nasa high state ka, masaya ka, good mood ka, pati yung katawan mo, hindi ka magkakos na aksidente, no? Pwede kang mag-drive. Pero kapag nasa low state ka, wag ka daw mag-drive kasi it's either malungkot ka, may sakit ka, and whatsoever. So, ano ang sagot? Letter Best reason na, best, actually lahat to is correct. But we are talking about the best reason. The answer is letter D. Yung a certain is physical, emotional, intellectual condition in a certain day. Siya yung pinakakompleto. Sa bio with them, we are talking about the physical, emotional, and intellectual state ng isang tao. So therefore, kung best reason, delta. Ha? Delta. Fifty-six. A killing not caused by human being is death by not caused by human being is death by a by means of intent by pro by imprudence negligence and the natural cause. Napaka common sense naman ito. Ano lang ba dito yung hindi caused ng human being? Therefore, the answer is letter. D, natural cause. No, may mga taong namamatay, natural cause taong natulog lang, namatay na. No? So, hindi true imprudence, negligence, wala rin intent. So, hindi siya homicidal. So, Delta, 56. 57. What is the stage when the offender commences the commission of a felony directly by overt acts and does not perform all the acts of execution? Oh, dito na naman tayo ah, stage. Oh. In the commission of crime, lahat daw ng overt acts ay present, yun nga lang hindi lahat perform. This is, syempre attempted. No? 
again, pag consummated, all the acts were performed and executed. Sa prostrated, na-execute yun nga lang, hindi na-accomplish yung intent. Si attempted, andyan yung overt acts, but does not perform all the execution. So the answer in 57 is alpha. 58. Uh, dito tayo. Aware of number of arrests and cases filed in court, experts propose that hearing of illegal drugs cases should be tried and heard by A. RTC designated as heinous crime. B. Special court designated by C, Supreme Court among the existing RTC or regional trial courts. C. Sandigan Bayan. And D. Special court designated by Supreme Court. Bakit ganun? Parang di pa rin kayo nakakasunod. May mga nagtatanong pa rin sa natin. Makinig po kayo. Oh. Saan daw dito? Ah, what is the answer? Saan ba hinihear ang mga cases when it comes to drugs? Letter? Letter D. Ay, sorry, sorry. Dapat letter dito. Bravo. Bravo. Special court designated by Supreme Court among existing RTC. No? Dahil lang drug cases naman, sa RTC talaga yan, hindi na yan dadaan sa MTC. Okay? Yun nga lang, meron nga tinatawag tayong special courts for that dahil sa sobrang dami ng cases na dinesignate ng Supreme Court mismo. So the answer in 58 is bravo. Next, 59. Which of the following does not contribute to the reason why the value of physical evidence is diminished? Does not contribute to the reason why the value of physical evidence is diminished. So minsan, yung value ng physical evidence nawawala. Ibig sabihin, hindi na nagiging admissible sa korte. Bukod sa isa. May bukod lang dito sa isa. Okay? So, A. Human failure to appreciate it. B. Human failure to find it. C. Human failures to study. And D. Human failure to understand. What is the answer? 59. Ang answer po dito ay letter A. Human failure to appreciate it. Ha? Alpha po. Ha? So, um, physical evidence is diminished by human failure to find it, human failure to study, and human failure to understand. Ang naiiba lang dito is to appreciate it. Ha? 59 alpha. 60. When a person who is known as drug addict by his own volition sees from taking illegal drugs, he, she is A. In abstinence B. Into wellness In self-healing and D. In self-medication uh, Own volition no? Decision niya na itigil na isis yung illegal drugs. Pwede rin to sa alak Pwede rin nga sa sex. O, oh, saan to? Abstinence, wellness, self-healing, medication. Sagot dito ay alpha. In abstinence. Okay? So, pag in your own volition, decision mo na isis yung something na naa-addict ka. No? Pinigilan mo ang sarili mong tawag natin doon ay abstinence. Alpha. 61. Ito, gusto ko tong part na to. Ilang taon ko na to nakikita sa questionnaires. Pero sagutan natin. No? Tricky question, number 61. When murders based on relationships are to be committed in a home, 
who among the following most likely could be murdered in the bedroom? Okay, ha? When murders based on relationships are to be committed in a home, which of the following most likely could be murdered in the bedroom? A. Parents in law. B. Male. C. Female. And D. Children. Uh, ano ang sagot dito? Well, himay himayin natin. Alam ko nung time namin, ewan ko sinong lecturer namin, ang sagot yata niya, female. Tapos nagganap na naman ako, ang sagot naman, children. Uh, kaso alam, may hirap na ako nakatalo dito eh. Pinagtalo na namin tong question na to. And nadali namin yung logic. Tingnan natin yung question. Children, sabi ng din namin. No, meron din, female, kasi rape, and channeling. Tingnan natin. So, sabi dito sa first sentence, when murders based on what? Relationships committed in a home. Who among most likely could be murdered in the bedroom? Si male ba? May kinalaman sa relationship ba? Ha? Yung salitang male, napaka-general ng salitang male. No? So, pwedeng lalaki. Lalaking ano? Lalaking malaki ang pangarap? Malaki ang kamay? Ano ba? Depende. Female. General ulit, no? Anong klaseng female ba? Female na maganda, female na pangit, mataba? Ano ba? Female. Children. Ano bang klaseng children din yan? Ah, children, na, children na masiyahin? Children sa school? Children sa bahay? Ang may malinaw lang na relationship dyan sa bahay ay ang alpha. Parents in law. Tingnan nyo mamuti ah. Siya lang yung nagsabi dito na merong relationship siya sa bahay. Napaka-specific. Nilinaw niya na parents-in-law. Itong male, female, and children, they are all general. Hindi nililinaw kung anong klaseng relationship meron siya. Pwedeng female na aso, female na tao. Anong klaseng children ba yan? Okay? So kung pag-uusapan natin to at kukunan natin ng logic yung question, alpha, parents-in-law. Tingnan nyo mabuti ha. We are talking about your logic. No? Kunin natin yung logic ng question. Oh. And base din doon kung add one out tayo sa choices, ang naiiba lang dito si parents-in-law. And siya lang yung specific dito. Okay? Diba? Tama ba ko hindi? Nung, kung titingnan natin yung logic ng question, di ba? Uh, na andito po. Okay? So, sa male, female, children, I'm sure pa, makaka, ma, merong ibang ibang lecturer na ang isasagot dyan, kadalasan ng mga lecturer, e eh, female. Okay? Kasi, kasi daw, ewan ko kung anong study yung sinasabi nila. Wala namang study yan. <laughs> Wala pang napatunayang study. Right, that? But, if we are talking about the question itself, kukunin natin yung logic ng question, ang answer natin dyan, parents in law, dahil siya lang yung may malinaw na relationship sa home, na most likely to be murdered. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, the answer is alpha. Okay. Next. Uh, number 62. What is this liquid having a flash point at or above 37.8 Celsius or 100 Fahrenheit? What is the liquid having a flash point of 37.8 Celsius or 100 Fahrenheit? A, kerosene, 
B turpentine, C corrosive liquid, and D combustible liquid. Katulad nito, di ba? Sabi ni Ma'am kanina, pag ang salitang flammable, automatic liquid yan. Yun nga lang dito, binerify niya na this is liquid, combustible liquid. Para, yun yung sinasabi ni Ma'am. Basta, kung sakali lang naman pare, na wala ito, kunwari lang ha, yan. Mga tic, this is solid. Yun nga lang, dahil nandyan yan, burayin natin ulit para hindi kayo malito. Yun nga lang, ang nilinaw niya, combustible liquid, therefore liquid talaga yan. Okay, so what is the answer here? The answer is delta, combustible liquid. Okay, combustible liquid. Si kerosene, ang kanyang flash point ay 410 Fahrenheit. Okay, si corrosive liquid, ang tandaan nyo lang dito, it is not easily set on fire. Hindi siya madaling masunog. Easily set on fire. May computation po ba sa exam? Kadalasan yan sa Leia, meron. Tsaka crimson. Mga crime volume, ganun. Meron. Meron. Yung crime volume, tsaka Leia, crimson, tsaka crime... Uh, sa fingerprint naman, pag criminalistics. Terpentine, uh, ano naman natin, 488 Fahrenheit. Okay. Pero alam niyo yung mga binibigay naman na isosolve sa questionnaire sa board. Wala pa naman ako nakita matindi doon na may X, Y, W, X, X, Z, plus A, B, C, D. Wala pa naman. Wala pa naman. Mga basic lang na times plus. Uh, wala pa namang find X doon. Formula lang ang mga tandaan niyo doon. Uh, balik tayo ha. 63. The following are characteristic of human errors that cause traffic congestion. Congestion. The following are characteristic of human errors that causes traffic congestion. Except. So lahat daw to ay nagpo-cos ng congestion bukod sa isa. A. Lack of due diligence on part of the pedestrian. B. Lack of the presence of uniform traffic enforcers. C. Bad driving habits like slow drivers. And D. Poor legislative traffic regulation and activities. What is the answer for 63? Ah. So, ano lang daw dito yung hindi nagkakos ng traffic congestion? Ah, pansinin nyo na naman to mag add one out na naman tayo dito. Ah. Kung mapapansin nyo dito, si Alpha, that is human error. Tingnan mo ah, pedestrian is a human error. Lack of the presence of human uniform traffic enforcer, human error ulit. Bad driving habits like slow drivers, human error ulit. Pero yung poor legislative traffic regulation and activity, siya lang yung naiiba na walang kinalaman sa tao dito. So, kung ganito, <laughs> ang answer natin ulit ay... Ano? Kasi lahat naman ito magkakos talaga ng congestion eh. Sa totoo lang. ba? Diba? Lahat naman yan. Kaso nga lang, again, dahil board exam to at CDI ito, <laughs> pag um, gagamitan natin siya ng logic. Ha? So dito guys, ang answer ay delta. Siya lang naihiba ulit sa choices. Mamadami bang ganito sa CDI? Yes. 
Yes, of course. Sa lahat ng no nag-exam ako, dito ako tumagal sa CDI at saka sa law. Okay? So, ang sana na iiba lang dito is Delta. Again, lahat yan magkukos yan ng congestion. Lahat. Bakit naman iniisip nyo kagad na babagsak kayo? Na nahirapan lang kayo sa isang item? Ha? Hindi ganun yun. Tsaka wala naman tayong assurance na lalabas to sa board tong question na to. This is just an example, guys. Hello? Oh. So, 63, Delta. 64. The following are the triple aim of criminal investigation exec. A, prosecution. Prosecute the suspect. B, gather evidence of guilt of the suspect. C, locate the suspect. And D, identify the suspect. Uh, ano lang yung naiba dito? Ah. Ano yung exec? Ano ang hindi trabaho ng isang investigador? Prosecute the suspect. Kay court yan. Di ba? Ah. So, answer 64, alpha. 65. The following are some of the elements of investigative process. Exempt. The following are some of the elements of investigative process. Exempt. A. Collection. B. Recognition. B. Preservation. And D. Presentation. Ano na iba dito? Exception. Ang answer natin dito for 65 is... Recognition. Bravo. Okay? Bravo. Collection, preservation, presentation, lahat yan ginagawa natin sa investigation. ba? Diba? Kaya nga, kung titingnan natin yung threefold aims, ba? Diba? Pasok yun. Identify, locate, and provide. Uh, provide evidence. So the answer dito ay bravo. 66. Bakit parang ang lulungkot nyo na? <laughs> Bakit parang <laughs> parang napanghihinaan na ng loob ang lahat? Ano bang nangyayari? <laughs> ah. no, madali lang naman na. Kaya natin yan. Huwag kayo masyadong malungkot. No? Hindi ka namin makita, ma'am eh. Ganun talaga. Kailangan natin ano, mag-focus. Ah. What term used to describe the frontal collision of B, A, collision? B, full impact collision? Ano yun? Uh, what term used to describe the frontal collision of B, A, collision? B, full impact collision? C, head-on collision, and D, frontal collision. Hmm? So the answer here is, pag frontal collision, this is D, also known as head-on collision. So marami naman type na <coughs> types of vehicular accident. Meron tayong vehicular rollover, single car accident, Side impact, rear end, head on. Pag harap sa harap, ng sasakyan, head on. Rear end sa likod. O side impact sa gilid tumama. Single car accident, isang sasakyan lang. Vehicular roll over, umikot yung sasakyan. Nag-flip. O yung keyword mo lang dyan, flip. O, yun lang yun. So yan lang yung um, types of vehicular accident na hahanapin nyo. Yung iba dyan, pampagulo na lang. Tingnan nyo. Natotoo lang sa mga subject naman talaga, si, si CDI talaga yung laging may iba-ibang answer eh. Kahit nung kami naman nagre-review. Unlike sa mga criminalistics, as is na yon kasi science yun eh. Eh alam naman natin pag criminal investigation, it is an art and a science. So, kailangan natin mag-ano, 
mag-isip. Sixty-seven. As a rule, maximum speed limits are necessary for the use of our streets. The following are instances when these maximum speed limits may not be observed. Except, uh, as a rule, maximum speed limits are necessary for the use of our street. The following are instances when these maximum speed li speed limits may not be observed. Except, so, eto daw mga given ay instances wherein hindi sila susunod dun sa maximum speed limit na 60 kilometers per hour. Except one. So, may naiisip, may naiiba na naman dito. A. Drivers who are members of the PNP or AFP. B. Any drivers bringing a wounded or sick person for emergency treatment. C. The driver or his passenger who are in pursuit of a criminal. And D. A physician or driver when responding to emergency call. Ano lang dito ang kailangan niyang sumunod dun sa 60 km per hour. Letter, 67 letter, A. Wala tayong paki dyan. Kung law enforcer ka, PNP, AFP, kailangan mong sumunod doon sa uh, maximum speed limit. Unless na lang na ang nakalagay dito is PNP, AFP in pursuit of a criminal, therefore, pwede. Pero yung nasa sasakyan ka lang, nagda-drive, hindi ka asama. So, alpha, 67 alpha. 68. What should not be done by a fire truck driver when crossing an intersection when there is a traffic control? Ano daw yung hindi dapat gawin ng isang fire truck driver when crossing an intersection when there is a traffic control? A. Must do a full stop. B. Wait for the light to change. C. See the traffic stop and heed. And D, proceed only when it's safe. Oh, porkit nabasa nyo lang yung heed, nakakaiba sa paningin nyo, yun na yung sinasagot nyo, letter C na. No? Oh, ano sagot dito? Ano lang daw yung hindi dapat gawin ng isang fire truck? For number 68, Ang sagot natin dito ay bravo. Bravo. Mali ito ah. Bravo dapat to. Bravo. Bravo. Ano daw dapat dito yung hindi gawin ng fire truck driver? Hindi niya na kailangan hintayin yung light yung traffic light. Oh. Hindi niya na kailangan yun hintayin. Eh paano kung masusunog na yung, yung lugar? No? So hindi niya na kailangan hintayin pang magpalit yung, yung traffic light in order to proceed. Tandaan niya na hindi na kailangan maghintay ng fire truck. May nakita ba kayong ambulansya na huminto? Imagine niyo lang nasa jeep ka, pare. Huminto sa traffic light, tapos hinintay niya pang mag-green light? Wala. Ang ginagawa lang nila, they are stopping for a minute, checking the area kung merong dumadaan. Ito, they see the traffic stop and heed. Dahan-dahan silang nagpo-proceed. Ibig sabihin ng heed. Yun yung ibig sabihin nun, heed. Dahan-dahan, safely, nag-iingat na nagpo-proceed sa traffic light. So, yes, they do. They are doing full stop bago sila mag -heed. Okay? They proceed when it is safe. Hindi na nila kailangan hintayin na magpalit pa ng traffic light. No? X to. So, the answer is B. So, tama naman, di ba? So, kung titignan nyo, again, logic ulit ito. <laughs> ano yung magiging sagot natin? Logic ulit. Hindi na nagihintay ang fire truck, hindi lang fire truck, 
kahit yung ating mga um, ambulansya, no? ambulance to change the traffic light. Kasi nga po, meron naman yang ano, automatic alam na ng lahat ng tao na kailangang paunahin ang isang emergency car or emergency vehicle. Okay? So the answer for 68, bravo. Sixty-nine. <clears throat> Sixty-nine. A shabbily crafted police report submitted by a police officer and part of the record in court proceeding as its words makes what? Uh, a shabbily crafted police report submitted by the police officer and part of the record in court proceedings as its words makes the blank. A. Police report a basis for scrutiny. B, police officer just another contributor to the state of criminal justice. C, police officer practically a witness for the defense. And D, police report just another court record. Uh, ano ang naging issue kapag ang isang police report, halimbawa, ng isang police na nasa kaso ay shabbily crafted? Ibig sabihin, mali-mali yung grammar, hindi nakalagay lahat ng mga, ano, ng mga... Um, details, wala yung mga facts. Ano nagiging issue? Nagiging basis for scrutiny. No? Diyan nagkakaleche-leche, nagtatanong pa yung um, defense. Diba? Na, na anong nangyari and whatsoever. So, hinuho kayo pa ulit yung kaso. So, yan yung nagiging Okay, so the answer is Alpha. Wala? Shabbily crafted police report. Alpha. Malino tayo dito. 70. The following are agreed reasons why many contemporary investigators argue that the success of most criminal investigation begin at the crime scene. Except, ito na naman tayo kay mahiwagang except. Uh, the following are agreed reasons why many contemporary investigators argue that the success of most criminal investigation begin at the crime scene. So lahat daw to, Ano, um, positive, no? Lahat, pare, ang hinahanap niya, yung mali. Kaya nga, exep, eh, lahat daw positive. Lahat daw tong mga reason na to, eh, magandang indication ng success ng criminal investigation sa crime scene. Diba? Bukod sa isa. Ah. Eh, it is at the crime scene where the vital physical evidence can be discovered. So sa crime scene, makikita daw natin yung vital physical evidence. B, it is the crime scene where the modus operandi of the criminal can be discovered. Makikita daw natin sa crime scene yung modus operandi. C, it is the crime scene where vital information can be learned. Makikita daw natin sa crime scene yung information na hinahanap natin. And D, it is the crime scene where the vital witnesses can be located and sometimes the suspect arrested. Oh, ito na naman tayo sa tricky question number 70. <laughs> Ma, nagkakagulo sa GC. Ayan. Pero nagsasagot ng B, nagsasagot ng C, ng A. And yung iba tatalon na, magre-resign na, hindi na magre-review, mag-board and everything. So, ano ang sagot kaya? So, guys, sa criminal investigation, pag-usapan natin yung crime scene. Ano ba ang nakikita talaga natin sa crime scene? Anong klaseng ebidensya, pare? 
Anong klaseng ebidensya yung nakikita natin sa crime scene? Napakaraming klase ng evidence, right? Ang nakikita natin sa crime scene is that treasure island channeling pang ang tinatawag nila, di ba? Uh, physical. Very good. Uh, nasagot nyo, physical. Uh, dito natin simulan ng logic, madlang people. Kung physical evidence ang pinag-uusapan natin, ano lang dito ang hindi physical evidence? Ah. Ah. Ano lang yung naiiba dito? Siyempre, sa crime scene, di ba? Pag first responder ka, ano ang gagawin mo, di ba? Hahanapin mo kagad yung biktima. If nandun yung suspect, aarestuin mo. Therefore, si letter D pwede. Di ba? Pwede. Check. Kasi kung matatandaan natin sa ano natin, sa pag nagpa-process tayo, yun naman talaga yung ginagawa. Check. So kung from the word itself, sabi nyo kanina, physical evidence makikita, therefore letter A pwede ulit. Pare, kasi vital physical evidence. O, dalawa na lang. B at C. Ano nga yung tamang sagot? Ah. Modus operandi, physical evidence ba to? Makakita ka ba ng physical evidence sa modus operandi? Sa crime scene ba nakikita ang modus operandi? Yes. Diba? Kaya nga yung mga crime scene investigator, pagdating pa lang sa crime scene, nalalaman na nila kagad kung ano yung, kung sino ang possible dahil sa modus operandi. Halimbawa na lang natin yung mga mga sikat na mga cases, yung mga nakikita natin sa Netflix. Ano ang hinahanap nila? Yung pattern. ba diba? Keyword natin kay modus operandi, pattern. Oh. Sa crime scene pa lang mahahanap na yan. Therefore, ang answer natin ay letter C. Vital information can be learned. Yung salitang can be learned, mahanap natin yan sa witness. Witness. ba? Diba? So, anong klaseng ebidensya kadalasan binibigay ng mga witness? Testimony. Uh, ba? Diba? Testimony. Uh, Testimonial evidence, therefore, kung physical evidence ang mahiwagang makikita sa crime scene, siya lang naiiba. Answer, Charlie Buddy. Ayoko na. <laughs> ah, 70, Charlie. Ah, rest in PCDI. Kaya niya, Diyos ko naman. Kaya yan. Uh, question number 71. What kind of evidence can be associated with the group? Group. Uh, individual, testimonial, class, characteristic, or physical evidence. Uh, with the group. Pag individual, syempre single. Single, kaya individual. No? Ano lang yung group dyan? Testimonial evidence, physical o class? Napaka-common sense ulit. Logic lang ulit to. Yung salitang group, ang answer ay Charlie. Charlie yan. Class, Charlie. Pali lang uh, ano ko dyan, highlight, Charlie. Uh, dito tayo kay 72. Hmm. 72. Forensic specialist has the duty to train investigators. Forensic specialist has the duty to train investigators of the crime searchers in the blank of evidence. Uh, Tanan naman tayo kay Tricky, question number 72. Uh, so, forensic specialist has the duty to train investigators of crime scene searchers in the blank of evidence. A, interpretation, B, recognition, C, cataloging, and D, analysis. Ang pinag-uusapan natin ay crime searchers. 
kung magsa-search ka, anong kailang kailang um, skill na meron ka? Mag-interpret, mag-recognize, mag-catalog, o mag-analyze? Ha? Kailangan mong mag- mag-recognize ng ebidensya. Kasi kung hindi mo alam kung anong isa-search mo, hindi mo yan mahanap. Actually, tama ito lahat. Kaso nga lang, common sense ulit, nandito yung salitang searcher. At si searcher, si searcher, anong ginagawa niya? Nagahanap ng ebidensya. Nagre-recognize siya ng ebidensya. ba? Diba? Itong cataloging, ginagawa to ng custodian. So the answer is bravo. <laughs> Lord Tabang. Uh, last last two three questions tapos break na tayo. 73. The organized crime group usually takes the following three step process converting illegal income or process into free cash back to the hands of the kingpins. Except So we are talking about here money laundering. Oh, ano lang ba yung hindi kasama sa money laundering dito? Letter 73 is 73 is delta. So kung makikita natin si placement, meron tayong tinata ito yung first stage in money laundering wherein we are putting them into the financial system. So may dalawang klase ng placement, wag niyo kakalimutan. Pag sinabi ng smurfing, this is the moving small amounts at times to avoid suspicion at immersion naman pag mixing of illicit money with illicit one. Uh, so pag ipinagahalo mo yung legit, legit na pera mo sa illegal mong pera together immersion ang tawag doon. Pag smurfing naman, paunti-unti lang yung pasok mo ng pera sa banko, so ever smurfing naman yun. Placement. Second naman yung layering naman, also known as heavy soaping. You are converting your cash into monetary instrument and conversion to, ang keyword natin kapag layering, tangible assets. No? Tangible assets. And last stage yung integration wherein it is available. Yan ang keyword mo dyan. To the criminal with occupational geographical origin. Also known as pin drive. Papabalik daw sa layering, eto pa rin. Integration. 73. Delta. 74. The search pattern generally used to convert large areas. Sinabi ko na to kanina. What is the answer here for large areas? Uh, keyword natin dyan, zone. Huh? Strip, yung ma nasabi na ito lahat. Other term for spiral is circular. Minsan ganyan yung ginagamit. Para additional term lang, circular. The grid, double strip. And last number for today. Ay, for this morning lang muna. The method of approximation of time of death based on what appears typically as deep blue or purplish discoloration on the body after death is A. Postmortem lividity B. Autopsy C. Medical legal D. Rigor mortis We are, we are identifying time of death by color. Discoloration of the body. Anong keyword natin? Discoloration of the body. Saan lang yung discoloration dito? Postmortem lividity, autopsy? Lividity, kilala rin ito, libor mortis. Libor mortis. Parehas lang yan. Answer? Alpha. Ha? Alpha. 
Ano autopsy? Dissection of dead body. Dissection of dead body. Sino ang pwedeng mag-conduct ng medical legal? I mean, ng autopsy? Pwedeng mag-conduct ng autopsy ang medical legal officer? Ano pa? Members of the medical staff or government health officer? Hindi lang medical legal ang pwedeng mag-conduct ng autopsy. Pwedeng mga government health officer, government health officer, Pwede din po yung mga members of the medical staff of accredited hospital. Bakit ganun ma? Kasi sa mga rural areas, yung mga bukid-bukid na ganyan, hindi lahat na yung medical, medical legal officer. Kaya minsan pinapayagan, katulad yung mga government health officer, pati yung mga tinatawag nating medical staff ng mga accredited hospital na mag-conduct ng autopsy. And rigor mortis, alam nyo naman na yung rigor mortis, the stiffening of the body. So the answer is alpha. So, yun. Pwede mo na tayo mag-break. No? Balik tayo ng what? Sakto 20. Good afternoon, guys. Kain mo na kayo.